Hello everyone, this is King Kunaoti. This is development news of the Kbox. Uh, we have made the big update uh, for the Kbox. Before, the Kbox only can re uh, control the relay and uh, control the dimmer in your local network without internet. Uh, the Kbox only can uh, use in your home in the local network. But this time, we have updated the Kbox uh, for support the MQTT so that you can remote control your relay controller and your uh, monitor all sensor data uh, for the logic controller CLB and CLBS, and the dimmer also can use remote control by the internet. So this is for the big update for the Kbox. And uh, maybe you have you will ask, uh, we have the Kingoni smart home application also can use for remote control by the card server. Why we update this Kbox and let the Kbox support remote? Uh, this is what is uh, different between these two applications. I will tell you, uh, and this Kbox we have updated by the MQTT protocol, so it's very stable. But the most important is we not save any data in our card server. We just save our data on the mobile phone. But the mobile phone application also can use the internet function for remote country. So you can use any MQTT block server. That means you can create your own color server without writing any code. Just rent a server. Just install MQTT open source software. It's free, and not need money. Well, why we use this MQTT block uh, for the server and uh, not save any data? Because the smart home product is very important. It will install in your house and it will work every day. And I think no company can see the card server can free for use one year, two year, three year, or five year, or ten year. And no one can say this, these words. So we can let the card server become independent. The card server you can create by yourself uh, very easily. And you, even if you can use this card server used by the third uh, free uh, solution, MQTT block server, uh, that have many uh, free servers in internet. But you can also create and install the card server by yourself. Uh, we just not use this solution. Uh, this is only the Kinkoni smart home only can use Kinkoni's card server. But the Kbox, uh, you can choose whether to use Kinkoni's card server or use your own card, your card server, or if even if the third part card server. Because the card server just only install MQTT servers as uh, a program. That program you can choose uh, for many open source and free version. So it's very easy to install and uh, the uh, software is never uh, need money and will update uh, continuously uh, by many people and many developers. So that is our uh, aim, is going to uh, supply you a cover server version for the remote country. So uh, now you can use this uh, Kbox, uh, even if you change the work mode, uh, you can use it in local network and, and you can uh, use choose to uh, kind of w connect with the card server for the internet uh, so that uh, your all product you can remote country. And uh, the CLLB and the CLBS, the all sensor, digital input sensor and the analog sensor and uh, the temperature sensor, or you can s monitor the date uh, on your mobile phone screen. Okay, now let's I will tell you the details about how this new Kbox works. Okay, let's look at the Kbox. I have this take this video of the demo for this power distribution box. Actually, the Kbox support H2B, H4B, H6, H8B, H16B, H32B, H3 and H32BS are many controllers. Now I just take three product for a demo. This is H32BS and this is 8 channel dimmer. And uh, this is a CLB logic controller. Uh, so I have added to the Kbox. You can see this time I use 4G and not use the Wi Fi because I let this box, Kbox connect to our card server. Okay, now you can see I have added the H32BS, uh, this H32BS, and this is the input, 6 input for this part. And this is the dimmer, 8 channel dimmer. And this is a CLB, and this icon is 16 channel digital input, and this is 16 channel analog input, 
and this is the functional temperature sensor. And you can see I can connect with this lamp with the channel 1 of the H32PS. So I can use this uh, turn on and turn off this lamp. This is channel 1. And this is by the remote country, by the color server. And also I can change to my dimmer. Uh, this is my dimmer. Uh, this is I have connected with the dimmer channel 1 with this LED lamp. So you can see I can change the brightness. Brightness is changed and add the brightness. Uh, you can see uh, this is changed and I can turn off. Okay, this is the dimmer. And now you can see the CRB and the digital input. Uh, this this is a digital input, a dry contact. You can see this is too wide. I just can close. You can see the D1 is turn green. And if disconnect this to wide, and this D1 is become red. So you can see I can shut and disconnect. And the shut and the disconnect. This will be very quickly and fast a feedback to the state uh, for your mobile phone, a uh, remote feedback to the state. And also we can see this 16 channel. I can use this A1, analog input 1. I connect to the 3.3 voltage. You can use any 0 to 5 voltage. So I can shoot for this. And you will see, I have shot for this. You will see, you can see 3.24 voltage. We can press this. And you can define every input name and the title name and the mini and the max value of the range of the sensor. And the unit, uh, if I have used a watt level sensor, you can impress the unit about the meter. Maybe is M meter, so you can press OK. Then you can see uh, this unit is changed, and you can change every channel of the unit and the range. And at last, uh, you can see uh, this is the temperature, a uh, five channel temperature, because I have connected with this one DS eighteen B twenty temperature sensor for the channel one. This is channel one. You can see this is the temperature value. If I hold on this temperature, and the temperature will become become high, you can see the value. The value is changed immediately. Okay, you can see the screen. Uh, just you can click this add device, and just input the MQTT block option and the part. This option and part we can click the history, and this we have add uh, this device and you can see I can press this so we can add the device based on our information before have input uh, this is the IP you can also input your IP card server IP and the domain name of the card server and the part and the module you can see I can click this will support uh, from two channel relay to 60 32 channel relay and eight channel dimmer and the CRB also support the CRBS. CRBS also is part. And you can change. And this is the device ID. You can just click this to scan QR code. I can just scan. You can see uh, this QR code is import, uh, convert to the ID. And maybe you don't know the ID QR code of the gamer controller or the logic controller. Maybe you have lost your label. Uh, you don't know the label. I will tell you, uh, this is a way you can see my computer. And this is the QR code generate. You just find out uh, your network setting. And this is a UID. And copy this string. You can copy and go to this website. Uh, and just paste. Paste. You can see this QR code is generated. And just uh, choose this free test and input the uh, UID and we generate the QR code and use your mobile phone to uh, scan this QR code or you print this QR code stick on the metal box. So this is the device ID 
And this device password, uh, this is a new function of the H32BS. Also, we will update freeware for other country because this is the password for your device. Uh, you can set the device password. You can see uh, there, there is a function like this H32B. Topic includes the password. If I choose yes, that means uh, this is needed the password. The password is one, two, three, four, five. I have set. So you can also input this password at here, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that this password and your controller password is seen is uh, all the same password so that you can remote control your device and see the sensor monitor uh, remotely. And uh, this is MQTT uh, username and the password for the server. MQTT server's username and password. So you can add many controller, uh, many controller in this uh, one window. And you can see this is a setting, uh, this is device uh, we have add. And if you want to let this mobile phone uh, show you this, uh, another second mobile phone or third mobile phone, you just click show. And this will generate the QR code. And this time you can use the second mobile phone. And this has the restore from the original phone, this function. Also just scan the QR code. And you can scan this QR code. And you can see uh, this device will be added on this mobile phone. So this function will show this device, uh, all devices on this first mobile phone, copy to the second mobile phone or copy to the third mobile phone, or copy to the fifth mobile phone. So this is just uh, copy the information and convert to another mobile phone without the internet, just directly. So all the data is on the, this phone, on this phone, and on the third phone. Never send this date on the carousel. And this also can, you can see the sense mode, and you can create the sense mode just like before the keybox function. And the switch the temperature unit uh, like this. Uh, I can close, I click, I change it to F. And you can see uh, the temperature value unit is changed. And the value is also is changed. And I can switch again, uh, change it to this. And you can see the temperature value is changed. And all these sections, uh, you can change this title and this input name. And also for the dimmer, uh, you can change. You can change the dimmer's name and uh, icon. And also you can see the relay controller. Uh, you can also click this and change the name and the icon and the control mode, just as before version. And this is sort. You can click. And now this order, you can just click. And you can change uh, which one is first and which one is second and which one is third. Uh, you can see I can change the order uh, by yourself. Every item uh, you can change uh, by yourself. Uh, so this is uh, easy for you to use. And this is the keybox function I have show you. Now let's look at the compute. We can see the keybox you can download from our Google Play Store. And here is the news. Uh, what is the new? Uh, you can see we have added the remote country uh, by the internet and the support the King Kong decoder server connected to the third part of the MQT decoder server. Uh, that is easy for you to create your card server. And you can set the country to card server just according to the IP and the part. That means one country, uh, such as the server first country, you can connect to the Kingonese card server. And the second country, you can connect to your own card server. And the third country, you can connect to the third card server, just according to the IP and the part. And this means the MQTT configuration, you can just uh, show the device for the other mobile phone by the QR code, uh, for a new mobile phone, or for your friend, or for your family house. Uh, for, uh, for other peoples. So this is a support product list. Uh, you can see uh, this many have support. You just choose whether your product in your in this list. This is a keybox you can download from the Google Play. It's, it's, it's updated on January 9th, uh, just before. Yesterday we have 
update. And the important one, uh, another important one is the color server. This is a color server, the MQTT server. You can see the dashboard is very beautiful and professional. Uh, this is free to use if you want to rent a server. You can install this EMQ or other MQTT block server software. Uh, just all is free. Uh, you can use this dashboard for yourself and the management all the country and sell the product to your customer and uh, monitor the uh, container state. You can see uh, many, many, many functions. Just change by yourself. Uh, this is the server solution of the MQTT broke. And uh, the another important, you can see the key box, also the Android phone application is open source. So you can download this source code, you can change any icon, change any words, change any application name by yourself because this is open source and free to use. So that will be help you to develop your own application very easily. And you can use even if uh, working in local network or remote country and connect with your card server. And this is the Kbox Android phone application from the GitHub. And when you use this device, use your controller, you just set your work mode to MQTT. And this server IP is our Kinkonis IP of the card server. You can free to use, uh, just input this IP and this part. And this is MQTT name and this is the password. So the important uh, for the safety uh, questions, uh, you just set the topic include the password chose to yes. And that will enable this post password. If you choose the no, uh, the password will, will be disabled. Uh, not need your device password can be controlled by your mobile phone. Uh, this is a function of the uh, topic password. Okay, this is a key box of the uh, application and, and the color server introduced. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.